What's up, YouTube? It's your homeboy, Lee Sean Anderson. And, um, yo, before I start this video, um, this might be a long intro. So, you know, just bear with me for a little bit. But, um, you know, I really didn't know that, um, that this, this the death of uh, Chadwick Boseman was really going to, you know, mess with, with my, my, myself my, my my strengths my heart um as much as it it, it is right now um probably because it was just so you know sudden and it seemed so abrupt um and it, the passing of cancer man like dude it, it you know it, it's no joke you know his passing truly um let me know that 2020 is it's nothing to to play around with this year is no joke and this year truly let me know that life is short even though i i know that life is short but this year with everything going on with the passing of kobe with this virus with you know his passing you know it just really you know to me just shows that you really, you know, have to cherish every single second, every minute, every hour and keep giving people reminders that, hey, I love you, you know, and I, I, I care for you and this, that and the third because you never know, you know, what could happen. And um, while I'm typing this, it's September 3rd and uh, September 3rd is a significant date for me because September 3rd is the date where my grandmother, I will call her Granny Bay, she, you know, she was born, you know, she's my mom's mother and she was born uh, September 3rd and, um, you know, I know a lot of people and I got some people that I would consider friends, but I, I don't have a best friend because she was my best friend. You know, no matter the any type of achievement or any type of small personal goal and any type of thing that I truly felt happy about, she was the first person who I talked to. She was the first person that I would call or she would just call me, you know, just to check up on me and whatnot. But yeah, man, she was the first person who would just come across my mind. And I was like, yo, I got to let her know about this. And she she passed of cancer. And just like I feel like the situation with the situation with Chadwick Boseman passed so abruptly. And, and when she passed, you know, I feel like everything just stopped for me. Like, oh, what? Anything? like what happened like no what no it and it and it and it hurt and i really didn't know like how to do anything i didn't know how to respond i couldn't think properly like it just felt like a piece of me just just shattered and um i knew that i didn't know she was sick but i'm pretty sure that she knew and I'm pretty sure that she tried to, you know, keep, you know, certain things away from me because, you know, she didn't want me to feel a certain type of way. And, uh, you know, she passed when I was 21 and uh, 27 now. And still it, you know, it lingers on my mind and it still, you know, messes with me still to this day. And, um... I remember this, I want to say this was 2000 to 2003. And, uh, you know, my grandmother, you know, my granny bae, she called my mom on the phone so she can talk to me because around this time, this might blow your minds. But around this time, you know, eight year old kids, nine year old, 10 year olds didn't have cell phones. They didn't have cellular devices, not every single child, but uh, yeah. And, um, you know, she talked to me on the phone. I was like, hello, granny, but yeah, what's up? She was like, Sean, 
turn on Fox 8 News real quick. You know, you're going to see this guy. His name is Deshaun. And uh, he's playing a game of basketball. And uh, he's just got the ball and he's just going up in the air and putting the ball in the hoop and you know just hanging on the rim like a big old gorilla and, <laughs> and whatnot and she was just going crazy and I was like what on the news what yeah okay let me let me see this real quick yeah so you know I turn on the news and uh I was like okay well the story must have been over I don't I don't see it and she was like all right well I'm gonna call you tomorrow so you can watch you know, because his name is LaShawn, and I never, besides you, you're the only person I know named LaShawn. I was like, oh, that's that's my daddy. And she'll call me daddy <laughs> for some reason. I don't know. But, yeah, she'll always call me daddy. She was like, yeah, that sounds like uh, daddy. I don't know anybody named LaShawn but daddy. And, uh, yeah. And <laughs> so uh, the next day comes. It's 9.59. My mom's cell phone rings. She looks at who it is. She gave me the phone. I answer. I'm like, hello. And then she's like, did you put on Fox 8? Is it on Fox 8 News? So I'm like, all right. Put on Fox 8 News again. And we just, you know, talking on the phone until they talk about, you know, the athlete, LeSean, right? And so then she was like, yeah, here you go. This, his name is LeSean James. And he'd be um, up there in Akron just playing b basketball and da-da-da-da-da. So then I'm, I'm like, what is his name, LaShawn? And so we watched this video. <laughs> and one thing about my granny, man, she would jack up anybody's name in a heartbeat. For instance, your name could be Edward, right? And you can go up to my granny, bay and be like, hey, granny, bay, how you doing? My name is Edward. And she'd be like, Edmund? Hey, how you doing, Edmund? <laughs> like, uh, Edward. Albert, hey, how you doing, Albert? It's, it's nice to meet you. But she had like such a, a vibe, but such a personality about her that, you know, you just be like, all right, whatever. <laughs> like, I'm not even going to correct this lady. I'm not going to do none of this stuff. And then she'd be like, hey, hey, Albert, Albert, come here. I got to tell you something. Like, <laughs> and you would probably look uh, at her like, okay, yeah. Yeah, um, you call me. <laughs> I'll be right over there. I'll be right over there. Watching the news, I'm like, Granny Bay, his name is LeBron. His name is LeBron James. <laughs> and, and so then she was like, she was like, hey, well, I knew his name started with a look, uh, a look so I was close. <laughs> she was like, look, but look at this guy. You know, he just be playing basketball. I ain't never seen nobody play basketball like him before. And so, yeah, they, you know, then the news was talking about that you know, top player in the nation and this, that, and the third, St. Vincent, St. Mary's, you know, he's on the cover of Sports Illustrated and doing all kinds of incredible things. And um, I was talking about Cleveland might have the uh, potential to draft him in the NBA draft that year. And, you know, and one thing about my granny base, she was so negative on Cleveland sports, man. She'd be like, yeah, they talk about he might come to Cleveland, but Cleveland don't want him, you know, because he's too good. You know, he ain't. Cleveland probably looking at him right now and talking about, hey, see that guy? He's too good. Don't pick him. Because <laughs> that's that was just her mindset. She was like, Cleveland don't want to win. They like losing. You know, that's how they make their money, by being losers. And, uh, you know, and eventually, you know, it's the history. He becomes the number one pick of the draft to Cleveland. And I remember it wasn't just only on ESPN, but it was a story everywhere, you know, on all the news outlets. And I remember, you know, my granny baby talking about, see, that's the guy, you know, Cleveland got him. I didn't think Cleveland would do it, but you know, if Cleveland want to be serious, they're going to try to build all types of people and get good players to play with them. And he's going to be the guy to win Cleveland a championship. He's going to win Cleveland a championship and this that and the third and you know in his career you know he's always been close you know even made deep runs in the playoffs even made it to the, the nba finals you know we didn't win um at first but you know my granddad was like hey you know he's 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 the guy if they build you know some chemistry and do all this stuff he's gonna be the guy who win a championship for cleveland and then he ends up going uh, to Miami and whatnot and winning championships over there. And, you know, my granddad was like, hey, 
They got players. They got people who want to win with LeBron. And uh, you see, he's a winner. So it's like, you know, but one day he might come back to Cleveland. And when he come back, he is going to win Cleveland Championship. My granny baby, uh, she passed in 2014. So she didn't witness um, what happened in 2016. Well, in the physical, at least. So explaining about that was something incredible. And, you know, we all like, you know, started hugging everybody and giving everybody high fives. I've never seen the city of Cleveland so ecstatic and so at peace and joy and unity ever in my life, dude. And so many people were crying because, you know, they felt like, you know, we witnessed something that we thought would never happen before. And, um, and it just when we won that championship well we won that championship when lebron and the cavaliers won that championship you know like i just heard my grandmother's voice i heard granny bay speaking in the back of my mind talking about you know that guy he's gonna win a championship for the city he's gonna be the dude he's gonna be the guy when they bring people together he will win a championship for us and do like so personally you know when i think of lebron james and you know of a great athlete he is you know i just instantly think of you know my grandmother and my grandmother being the reason why i personally love lebron james and knowing about LeBron James and everything that he's done for the city of Akron. He built a school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he built a school for the kids in the city. Every time when I hear people that talks crazy about LeBron James, like it it truly frustrates me because to me personally, you know, LeBron, he means a lot to me. He means more than just a basketball player to me you know he means a lot and it's so crazy that this video popped up on um today's date september 3rd and uh yeah man I, it's it's truly it's truly mind-blowing to me so i personally had to react to this video hopefully this video is truly about great things about lebron james so i hope i click this video and it's not some clown on the table talking about LeBron don't have the clutch gene and I think I know everything about basketball because I drink Mountain Dew do, 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 do. you know I hope <laughs> I hope it's not none of these clowns you know James just got the last 11 points. Is there anything the king can't do or won't do? Let's give this woman the moment of a lifetime. Are you all right, young lady? Give her a hug, pat her on the head, and just in case you were wondering what her reaction, I'm fine. Not only am I fine, folks. <laughs> Dude, that would be me. If I hug LeBron, I will be like, hey. <laughs> I miss Kyrie too. But he probably chilling in Brooklyn. He don't worry about it. He don't worry about And also, look at that score. That's a beat. See, that's great. Oh, man, he had a good time. I remember this. He started taking pictures with those kids. I'm sure mom had the smartphone working on that. Yeah. 
Exactly. Lakers fall to 18 and 13. How, you know, oh, there's the video I was talking about. We're taking pictures with them kids. Fans over there during the timeouts. Give us a little dap to the king. Yeah, man, I really don't understand. Like, how can you really hate on LeBron, dude? Like, First NBA selfie. I never rooted for the Lakers so hard in my life until, like, these playoffs. A special Olympian tonight. And LeBron James, after the young man got a standing ovation, went over to... Uh, LeBron signing shoes, two pairs, going up with a couple of young fans. And, I mean, what a moment. What a moment, Stu. Long-time Wizards yeah. season ticket holders, and LeBron went over there to make sure he was okay. Yeah, that, I tell you what, 265 pounds hitting that little kid. Uh, but I'm glad to see LeBron taking the time to go over there. Because that made his day. He's a, he's a big Wizard fan, but he's a basketball fan, too. Look at Doncic, the European LeBron. He's pretty nice too, man. Oh yeah, I remember that. To take a sip, gotta stay hydrated. Just being aggressive and um, doing what I normally do, and that's uh, you know take high percentage shots. Yeah, there's Walker a sign you're talking about. Yeah, I admire. I mean, LeBron James, and that was courtesy of King James as uh, Cleveland Cavaliers security. Yeah, man, he's more than an athlete, dude. Like, young man sitting over on the I don't understand. How can you courtside seat? talk so much trash about this dude, man? Build a school. For the kids to get educated, and you know, you want to talk trash about them. If he's not your favorite basketball player, that's one oh thing. Yeah. Oh video like comment and subscribe and uh i'm out deuce deuce i'll see you later